It means that signal. We need more power. Saturday night, and I ain't got nobody. I got some money because I just was pirating. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll get on with me story. I call this tale the Toll of the Bell. Well, this was one of the most terrifying adventures we ever had, Little John. If you remember, I told you that Lyrian had found the black spot which she used for luck on several occasions. Little did we know that it carried with it a curse. And we were being hunted by the dead pirate captain, Whalebone Pilk. Yes, yes, Whalebone Pilk. And his crew of the undead aboard the spectral ship, the Death Knell. It was said that those who heard the sound of its bell did not live to see another sunrise. Oh, yes, yes. Our first hint that something was amiss was the strange fog that seemed to come from nowhere and engulfed the ship for miles around. Our captain, Jarrell, called out to another ship's captain, sailing hurriedly past in the fog, but all he responded with was, Return to port, you fools! There's death right in the seas this night. We could hear his parrot squawking, All gonna die! from his perch on the captain's shoulder. They disappeared into the fog, but soon we heard screams and the sounds of fighting, and then all was silent again. The parrot flew in from the mist and landed on Jarell's shoulder. He said his name was Rotgut, and he kept repeating, They're all dead! They're all dead! until the captain brought him below. We sailed into a nearby port, the crew needing a few hours of liberty to shake the feeling of dread that hung over us all. As Setiel stepped off the gangplank, a giant rat leapt upon him from out of the fog, surprising him so much that he fell off into the dark waters below. We fished him out with little damage except his pride, and the crew relaxed just a bit. We headed into a local tavern, Looking for some relaxation, Lyrianne tried to recruit a deckhand who caught sight of her black spot and then ran off into the night screaming. As he ran, he knocked over many pints of ale, and soon we were involved in a full-scale barroom brawl. Lyrianne was the only one to take a nasty knock on the head, so Damiel hauled her back towards the ship for the dock to have a look. As he dragged Leary through the fog-shrouded night, a horrifying zombie pirate seemed to form from the mists itself, hissing, The bell tolls for you, as it attacked. Damio sliced it to pieces, but that just seemed to make the mist grow even thicker. They made the ship and told Captain Jarrell what had happened. As Damio hurried Leary below, the master at arms came running back from town, shouting that evil was following right behind him. He barely made it aboard before a pirate appeared behind him, moving like mist, and yet slowly plodding on its peg leg at the same time. He was suddenly there before Jarrell, and for the first time ever I saw her freeze. He looked to have been dead for at least a hundred years. Through a skeleton smile, he told her that the death knell was coming for her and her crew, and that soon she'd be joining Whalebone Pilk's undead crew. The threat to her crew snapped Jarrell out of her spell, and she cut down this ancient mariner, who just laughed at her as he fell. Yes, yes, I'll get on with it, I'll get on with it. She sent me off to find Selt at the tavern, in order to gather the rest of the crew so we could prepare to defend the ship. Selt had recruited a priest and killed a marine who thought he could take him, 
and was more than ready to return to the ship. When we got back, the priest cast a strength spell on Leary, and she felt a bit better. He gave this ship his blessing, and then departed. The fog began to dissipate, and the feeling of dread began to leave us. We set sail for Scar Bay, leaving the fog bank in our wake. It was when we reached the bay that every creature we ran across seemed to want us dead. A pirate captain attacked Silt, a merfolk and a shackled sorcerer attacked Leary, and we beat them all back, until a creature called the Kalmozant Weird attacked Damiel, who suffered grievously for it. This creature seemed to be made of green smoke, and none of our weapons could harm it. We drove it off, but everyone knew it would be back. Then we heard it, the sound of a bell on an approaching ship. From out of the dark came a fearful sight, a ship that looked as if it had been wrecked a hundred years gone. Huge holes gaped in its sides, the sails hung in tatters, and the masts glowed with a sickly green light. At her bow stood whalebone pilk, and even at this distance we could see the gleam of the emerald glowing in his eye socket. His horrifying skeletal grim mocked us as his voice boomed over the waters, Prepare to be boarded and meet your doom. Ah, yes. Well, everyone panicked at this fearsome sight, and we all made haste to escape, even as Captain Jarrell tried to steady us, but even she was rattled, and instead of facing this monster, we ran. A zombie clawed its way over the side, and said he'll cut it down. Damiel searched its now inanimate corpse and found a Jolly Roger. He handed it over to the captain, but instead of hurling it over the side, it seemed to steady her. She ordered it run up the mast, and she yelled out into the night, We're ready for you, Pilk. We have no fear of the likes of you. She ordered the ship turned about, and then we went on the hunt for them. More monsters appeared, no doubt under the control of the evil Pilk. A jellyfish swarm, a mercenary, and yet another zombie attacked, and we destroyed them all. But the black spot wasn't done with Leary, and she found herself at the wrong end of a harpoon trap. At this point, things did not look good for her, as a giant frog leapt over the side and went for her, Damiel attacked and cut it into tadpoles. Har, 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 har. That's when the green smoke monster appeared again and once again attacked and disappeared. This time Jarrell took the brunt of the attack. As we tended her, a constrictor snake wrapped itself around Selt. We got it off him, but the whole crew was feeling exhausted. This night seemed to go on forever, as we suffered attack after attack. The green smoke monster appeared yet again, but this time Leary pulled out her magic musket and fired a bullet right into it. Turns out only magical weapons can harm this monster, and Leary's bullet blew it into eternity. Yep. It was then that whalebone pilk and the death knell appeared again. But this time, we were ready. Ah. Jarrell attacked that ship, and we all went over with boarding axes and nets at the ready. It was Damiel that got to Pilk first. He attacked, but it was easy to see that he was outclassed. Jarrell passed her only blessing on to him, and Lyrianne contributed some of her hard-won strength, and with their help, Damiel struck down the pirate captain. As we stood there, the ship began to disintegrate under our feet, and we made all haste for the deck of our own ship. Pilk's body became a puddle of goo, and Damiel pulled the pirate's magical leather armor out of the mess before living back to our own ship. Later, he told me that there was no way he was leaving that ship without some kind of loot. Other than that, all we got was the Jolly Roger that our captain now flew proudly from the mainmast. We had survived the night, but we're ready for a well-deserved break. 
Well, that's the end of me tale, little John. That's how I got this hook for a hand, too. Well, it got better. Stop interrogating me. Can a pirate drink in peace? <sighs> now watch your hands there, little John. You'll be grabbing after me ale. <laughs>